Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Thursday, the 26th of October. Jay Shankar takes will to dig at China during SCO meet. Pakistan gives last warning to illegal immigrants to leave. And Cyclone Hamoon leaves three dead, hundreds of houses battered in Bangladesh. And now for all the details. In a sharp wheeled attack at China at the SEO meet in Kyrgyzstan, India's Foreign Minister S. J. Shankar on Thursday said that connectivity initiatives should always respect the sovereignty and territorial integrity of all countries. He said we should bear in mind that the global south should not be saddled with unvariable debt arising from opaque initiatives. India has time again protested against China's Belt and Road Initiative as it is being laid through Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, which it claims as its own. Jay Shankar exuded confidence in the India-Middle East-Europe Economic Corridor, which was launched on the sidelines of the G20 summit in New Delhi. The IMEC is being touted to be a challenger to China's BRI, often condemned to be part of its expansionistic ambitions. And India on Thursday resumed visa services for Canadians a month after New Delhi suspended the services following diplomatic tensions with Ottawa. In a press release issued late on Wednesday, the Indian mission in Canada said they're resuming visas for certain categories following a review of the security situation of Indian high commissions and consulates. Further decision as appropriate would be intimidated based on evaluation of the situation, the statement read. Relations between New Delhi and Ottawa had turned sour after Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau linked India with the killing of Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijjar. It followed a tit-for-tat expulsions of diplomats by both the countries, further deteriorating the situation. And moving on, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday confirmed his participation in the much-awaited inauguration of the Ram Temple in Ayodhya, considered the birthplace of Hindu Lord Rama, on 22nd of January 2024. In a post on X, PM Modi said he feels very blessed that he got the fortune of witnessing the historic occasion in his lifetime. The construction of the temple had been progressing at a steady pace after the Supreme Court in a landmark judgment in 2019 handed over the possession to Hindu side of the site, which had long been contested. According to the Temple Trust, devotees would be able to have a glimpse of Lord Ram in his infant form before January 26th next year. Pradhan Mantri Ji se Trust ke maha sachiu Shampat Rai Ji, Pujne Govind Dev Giri Ji, Udupi ke Swami Ji aur Shri Nipend Mishra Ji ka milna hua. Trust ke nimantran ko Pradhan Mantri Ji ne swekar kiya hai. Puri Ayodhya ahaladit hai. आनंदित है आज इस भरत मिलाप के अवसर पर ये सूचना वास्तव में हृदय को बहुत गदगद करने वाली है and Pakistan's President Arif Alvi on Wednesday reiterated his claim that he did not assent to amendments to the Official Secrets Act and the Pakistan Army Act as he disagreed with the laws in an interview with Geo News, Alvi said he stands by his claim that it was his staff which had undermined his orders to return the bill unsigned, which would have made the amendments ineffective. Alvi had stirred a controversy in August when he claimed he didn't sign the controversial bills and his staff lied by defying his will and command. The Army Act amendment had paved the way for punishment to any person guilty of disclosing any information acquired in an official capacity, while the amendment to Official Secrets Act created a new offense of unauthorized disclosure of the identities of members of intelligence agencies. This comes as a special court earlier this week indicted former PM Imran Khan in the cipher case under the Official Secrets Act. 
Meanwhile, Pakistan on Thursday gave a last warning to all undocumented illegal immigrants in the country, including thousands of Afghan nationals, to leave voluntarily before the 1st November deadline. Interior Minister Sarfaz Bhakti told a news briefing that an operation will begin to remove people after the expiry of the deadline. Those leaving voluntarily will be helped to leave Pakistan, such as preparation of the documents, permission to exchange currency and transportation. Pakistan had announced the move in October after Afghan nationals were found to be involved in crimes, smuggling and attacks against government and the army, including 14 out of 24 suicide bombings this year. The expansion plan marks a new low in relations after border clashes in recent months. Islamabad alleges that the militants use Afghan soil to train fighters and plan attacks inside Pakistan, a charge Kabul denies, saying Pakistani security is a domestic issue. And moving on, Cyclone Hamoon, which moved into southeastern Bangladesh early on Wednesday, bringing with it heavy winds and rains, battered hundreds of houses and killed at least three people. Thousands of trees were uprooted while houses built with corrugated sheets were destroyed by the power of the storm. Hundreds of tarpaulin-covered bamboo shanties in the Rohingya refugee camps in Cox's Bazar were also damaged, according to local officials. <laughs> But authorities in Bangladesh said most people were evacuated to cyclone shelters before the storm made landfall. But many families who failed to reach the shelters were left to sleep outside under an open sky. Cyclones are very common in the Bay of Bengal, especially during the pre and post monsoon period. And Kashmiri apples are known worldwide for the superb flavor. With harvesting season in full swing, orchard owners in Jammu and Kashmir are looking for profits as they expect a decent apple harvest this year. Apple growers in India's Jammu and Kashmir territory are busy picking the fruits of their hard work and are all set to ship out their produce across the country. They're looking for profits as they expect a decent apple harvest this year. Climate conditions were a bit unfavorable initially due to heavy rainfall, but there has been a decent harvest as compared to the previous year, an apple grower said. पहले जमाने में ना इस आप इसमें बहुत कंपटीशन है मगर यहां के लोग भी इसमें आप दिलचस्पी ले रहे हैं और नए-नए एक्साम बनाते हैं जो बाहर से आते हैं गाला मास है दूसरा दूसरा कुछ में ट्रेडिशनल है वो भी चलता है और यहां से भी उन्होंने आप बहुत इसमें करना शुरू किया डिपार्टमेंट भी देता है इसके में मदद Apples are harvested, graded according to their size and quality and finally packed in cartons for sale. Jammu and Kashmir is India's largest apple producing region and along with Himachal Pradesh state is known as the Apple Bowl of India. It is the mainstay of the local economy with hundreds of rural people eking out their livelihood from this industry. Sir, abhi to humne 10-15 dino ke shuru kiya ye kaam to abhi 2 2.5 mahine ye kaam chalega. Idhar to do hi cheez mein kaam hota hai ya kheti baadi mein hota hai to ya seb mein hota hai. Iske sath mazdoori bajte hain gandarbal ho shipen ho जो ये हमारा लाका है इसमें ये काम चलता रहता है इसके साथ धूप भी अच्छी है और इंशाल्लाह मौसम भी अच्छा है रंग इस साल कम है मगर इंशाल्लाह आएगा वेल दैट्स ऑल इन टुनाइट्स एडिशन विल सी यू सेम टाइम टुमारो गुड नाइट टैग टीवी ब्रिंग्स यू डेली न्यूज़ बुलेटिन फ्रॉम इंडिया ब्रेकिंग न्यूज़ एंड व्यूज फ्रॉम इंडिया